Just, just talk about your, your, your wide receiver crew room uh, now versus when you guys first started uh, a month, six weeks ago, I guess. Well, I think, you know, we both, them and myself, have a better understanding of each other. I think, uh, you know, they're starting to understand what my expectations are. I'm starting to learn each and every one of them as an individual, so I have a better way of you know, communicating and, and helping them, you know, understand and learn and, and see what we're trying to accomplish. Have there been some guys that you've really, like, seen develop and, and, and really benefited maybe more than other guys during the, the four or five weeks? You know, all of them have had their moments, you know. Kyron's had, had moments where he, he's had, you know, some, some a great body of work that he's put together. You know, Mike Jack, when he's been out here you know, battling through some things, he's had some moments. Brennan Rice and Aaron Kyle Field have both had moments where they, they've done some great things. And then, you know, Rio has just been steady, you know, with the, uh, already having a, a, a good working knowledge of the, of the scheme and what we're trying to accomplish. You know, he's been good. You know, with helping uh, coaching and kind of tutor some of the other guys along, and as well as being out here and making plays. With Brendan and Terrell Wyland, how have they compared to what you kind of scouted up from what you're expecting? To get? You know, honestly, they're a lot better than uh, what I would have initially thought. You know, both of them are you know, students in the game and are hungry for the uh, Terrell is a, you know, a, a, a football broker, so I mean, just, you know, Understanding the package and then understanding the coverage, understanding you know, from the quarterback perspective. I mean, it's a. How Ford has missed a lot of games because of injuries and practice and so on, but how, how do you use him to, to get the most out of him? You know, Cal, honestly, is my, one of the biggest coaches in is, is keeping him calm. I mean, he, he's probably you know, the biggest critic of himself as everybody else so, uh, than anyone else could be. So, I mean, it's, it's basically been, you know, okay. You make a good play, all right, good. Forget about it, let's play the next play. You know, something doesn't go your way, all right, it happened. We'll, we'll correct it on film, let's play the next play. And one thing that I will say that will surprise me, you know, he is a lot faster uh, for about his size than I would have initially, uh, uh, initially thought. And, you know, honestly, uh, looking at him on film, uh, it's, his, 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 his straight ahead, straight behind speed has to surprise me. I think it'll be a match for him. Do you feel good about having Gary for this weekend? Uh, do I feel good about having him? Well, he missed practice, and then he looked like he was back today. Yeah, he was back out there today. Um, you know, I, I, I'm sure he will be out there Saturday, so uh, I don't really quite understand the question, but yeah. Just look like he got banged up last week, and he was back today, just availability-wise. Yeah, I usually don't talk about injuries, so uh, that be one that you have to uh, catch up with Coach Riley. But I, you know, I, I would anticipate that he'll be out there and we'll look forward to seeing what he does. In terms of installing the offense, what was the hardest part for the guys who hadn't been before they picked up the spot? I think just the amount of reps that you're going to be asked of you in practice and, and the team. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know that it was necessarily an X and O aspect of it or a particular play, but just the, the volume of, of reps and the volume of speed and, and the yards that you can work uh, on a day-to-day -day practice. I think you had a lot of guys working inside and outside, which may handy kind of conclusions based off that. Kind of heading into August, do you have a better sense for who fits where? Uh, I think, we, you know, we formulated some good ideas. Uh, you know, is that set in stone? I wouldn't say that. Uh, but, you know, this has given us a, a a, a good indication of you know, where we would like to put guys, but also it has given us a, a good opportunity to see where, hey, you know what, if need be, we can adjust and move this guy here. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been great as far as, you know, getting a hands-on evaluation of these guys. What have been your impressions of the defense so far, just going up against that? You know, our defense is fast, uh, which is, you know, one thing I, I can say about the team as a whole, uh, these guys are hungry. And, 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 and eagerly ready to do things the right way and the, and the play hard. I mean, if, you know, from top to bottom, our spring practices, I mean, there have, there's been very few wasted days. Uh, you know, everybody comes out your first week, high energy, high effort, and, and running around and playing hard. These guys have done this through all, uh, throughout our whole spring, spring camp so far. I've heard guys talk about this offense is more complex than it will look to us when we see you guys play on, on Saturday. 
Can you maybe elaborate on that? <laughs> well, I hope that's the I hope that's the opinion of every defense uh, unit that we we, we face this far. Uh, I've been in it so long. It, there's, there's really nothing that's complex about it to me. Uh, that was a new one on me. I've always heard that it was kind of simple, but yeah, uh, I hope it appears complex. And we're gonna try to. You know, formation you and, 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 and personnel you to make it look a little different. Comparing it to last year, I suppose. <laughs> well, you know, honestly, I wasn't here last year, so I, I, I can't tell you much about uh, the complexity of the offense from last year. Is there anyone who's sort of stood out with their consistency out of your group this, this whole spring? Uh, I wouldn't say it's just one individual. I think all of them, you know, have, have put together a stack of collective days. You know, much like I said, you know, these guys, you know, we hadn't had very many wasted uh, of, of, of these 15 practices. You know, guys have showed up and, and been ready to work for the next Thank you, Coach.